Hey Audacious Church, my name is Abigail and I am one of the youth leaders at our Chester campus and I get the privilege of sharing a devotion with you. Uh, so if you would like to get your Bibles out, you can do that now and you can head on over to Isaiah 40. Um, so what I really felt like God was wanting me to speak about was comfort and strength and how he is able to give that to you um, in any situation that you're in. Maybe right now you're in a season where um, you've just been given some difficult news or you're just in a season where you just feel like you're waiting. You're waiting for the next season to come along. Or maybe you're just uh, feeling exhausted. Um, I know that people that can relate to you on that is in Isaiah 39, uh, God's people have just been told that the Babylonians will one day capture Jerusalem. So they're in a position where they've received this really hard news. They're in a place of the unknown. They don't know what to expect. Maybe they're feeling fear. They're feeling anxious. Um, they're probably feeling weak. And in Isaiah 40, the title of it actually says comfort for God's people. So God knew that his people had received this hard news. He knew that they were in a season um, where it was just so difficult. And God wanted to tell them that, you know what, even in that place that you're at, you can still receive comfort from me. And in Isaiah 40, 29 to 31, it says, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. Wow, what a great verse. <laughs> um, I love the beginning bit where it says he gives strength to the weary. So God doesn't give strength to those people who are proud, who think that they can do it on their own. Um, he gives it to those people who are willing to humble themselves and know that they are in a position of weakness um, and need God to give them that strength. It also says how... But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. So people who are willing uh, to wait on God. Waiting on God doesn't just mean literally waiting around, not doing anything. It actually means seeking him, relying on him, uh, really trying to figure, figure out more of who he is. Um, and that's what you can do in those seasons of waiting, really seeking on him, relying, him, relying on him on the every, in the everyday praying consistently even if you feel like um he hasn't answered your prayers yet you can still pray um and my favorite bit is the last bit where it says they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not be faint it says that when we are when we receive his strength that we are meant to run and we are meant to walk uh, we are not meant to use it to just show off we're meant to use it to grow and move forward say for example if all of a sudden God gave you these really big muscles um, and all of a sudden you uh, were bragging to your friends or you were taking pictures and putting it on Instagram. Um, God doesn't want you to use the strength um, in that way. He wants you to use it to uh, bring people up, to go to places that haven't been reached before, um, to have strength in the everyday, to feel empowered in your week and not just to get by, um, so yeah, to grow. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope that you took something from it, and I will quickly pray for you before you go. Uh, dear God, thank you for these people taking the time to just listen to you, God. I pray that you fill them with so much comfort, so much strength, and so much peace, God, uh, in whatever season they're in right now. We thank you, God, and we glorify you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. But yeah, thank you for listening, and I hope that you have a great morning, evening, day, uh, whatever time you're listening.